introducing the Kendra's Card Challenge's May of 2024 Color Palette Challenge and Bonus Printable, a digital card making kit using this color palette. <laughs> Hello and welcome, this is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. I can't believe it's May already, but today I'm introducing the new color palette challenge for the month of May, 2024. And this month's challenge is number 286 from Sarah Renee Clark's Color Cubes. And since we're in the month of May, I thought I'd pick some colors that would work for mermaid or with a mermaid theme. And we've got uh, six different colors for this one. There is a turquoise, a light blue, a dusty purple, a burgundy, mulberry, and magenta. Now, if you're not familiar with the color cubes, these boxes contain a ton of cards with different color combinations in them to give you lots of color inspiration. Now, this month's color palette is from volume number two. And there's also a digital version that you can get, but I'll link these down in the description box if you're interested. But Sarah gave us permission to use these for our monthly color challenges. And to enter the challenge, you just need to create any project using the colors in the color palette, and then post a photo of the project in the color challenge album in the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. And this is for a chance to win a prize. It can be a card, a scrapbook page, a journal, really anything that you'd like as long as you use the colors in the color palette. And it does not have to be a project using one of the sketches from my quarterly sketch challenge. You can add neutral colors, metallics, um, but just make sure you stick to the colors that's in the palette to be eligible to win the prize. And winners will be announced in the monthly winners video that I post with my sketch challenge showcase. So if you're not already a member of the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group, I will have this link down in the description box below. Now you will have to um, agree to some group rules before you'll be approved to join, but it's really easy to join and you'll find lots of card making inspiration in there. So I hope you'll join us. And I also wanted to share this month's bonus printable. So I've created the May of 2024 bonus using this color palette. Now this bonus is available for download now by paid patrons of the Kendra's Card Challenges Patreon membership program. So this is a digital card making kit called Mermazing and it contains a set of 13 digital pattern papers, images, and sentiments. And I'll show you the different patterns that I've included this month. And I decided to do full eight and a half by 11 inch papers this time because I like to utilize the whole sheet and have some extra panels to work with. I've had quite a few people ask me what type of printer and paper that I use to print these out. This is 80 pound semi-gloss cardstock that I buy from Amazon. And I made sure to change the settings on my HP Color Laser Jet printer. It's an MFP M180NW. And I change it so that it prints slower than usual. I do this in the preferences. I just choose glossy cardstock before printing the PDF. But I love how vibrant the colors are on this type of paper and it's worth the extra money for this high quality cardstock. I don't have to worry about the colors rubbing off either like I've had happen in the past with just regular cardstock. But I'll be cutting these down to six by six to use with challenge 14. And as you can see, some of these patterns were made with lighter shades of the colors that's in the color palette, but they all work well together and I will show you some cards that I've made using these papers here in just a bit. But here you can see some shells and bubbles. I've got different wave patterns and for the past few months bonus printables I've included a set of four scene patterns and so this one is an under the sea scene obviously and this one does have some additional colors in it so you don't want to use these to enter the color palette challenge because as you can see there's some some tan and some orange which I guess tan would work but you don't want to use the orange or the the green that's in here but I thought this was really pretty and it does make some beautiful cards so I've also included some sentiments here um, you can cut these out with your, if you have a scan and cut, or you can just fussy cut these out. They're not too difficult. Now I did the, the shell outlined circle and the rectangle one. I had to cut that, those out by hand um, because it wanted to cut out each individual shell whenever I used my scan and cut. But I also have the this set of uh, mermaids. 
So the top six are really beautiful, colorful images. And then there's the three um, silhouette mermaids down at the bottom that's in the that turquoise color. And then this page has some mermaid tails, plus some other sea creature friends, a seahorse, a fish, a whale, a jellyfish, a turtle. There's a, actually a couple jellyfish on here and then an octopus. And then um, I have another page that includes some shells, a starfish, and some different types of coral and like underwater plants. So um, that's all of the in uh, contents of this kit. Again, this kit is available for download by all paid patrons. And I will talk about how to become a patron here in just a bit. But this is all of the contents of the kit cut out. And I've already trimmed down the panels here. I've cut out all of the images and the sentiments using my brother's scan and cut. Or I fussy cut out a couple of these. And then I've also cut down all of the papers to be 6 by 6 So these are ready to go to cut down to... Um, have all the different pieces for Kendra's card challenge number 14 and I'll link that below if you're not familiar with that but for this video what I wanted to focus on was the extras so you'll know you know the different types of cards that you can make with all of these extra panels now these measure four by five and a quarter and then I also have some half inch strips here that measure four inches in length and then this one measures uh, or these measure six inches in length and they're half inch and then this is uh, five and a half by two and I believe it's a quarter it might be a little bit less because of those white edges that I had to cut off and then this other one is just a little bit shorter than that so my goal for the cards for this video today is to use up these extras and not the six by six patterns that you already have a cutting guide for on challenge 14. If you're new to my channel and not familiar with my card challenges it's where you can create a bunch of cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper and I provide cutting guides for all six sheets of paper and 15 different card sketches and I do this in a free PDF digital download so I invite you to watch the Challenge 14 introduction video that explains all about it, how to enter and how to cut the papers, plus details on all of the prizes that you can win for joining the challenge and sharing your creations on social media. I'll have this video linked above and in the description box below. Now you can get the current quarterly card challenge over on my Patreon page once you join as a free member. You don't have to be a paid patron to get the quarterly challenge printable, but to get the extra perks and benefits like this bonus printable you see here, you can join as a paid patron starting at just $5 a month. You can sign up as a free member simply by entering your email address, and once you do, the link to the current quarterly printable will be shown at the top or pinned at the top of the Patreon page. But if you join as a paid member, you will also have access to previous challenges. And so I dug into these previous archive challenges for inspiration for the cards today. I decided to use a few of the sketches from these previous card challenges and a few of the bonuses to make the cards that I'm sharing. I have the sketch and challenge number on the screen as I show you each of the cards. Now I adjusted a few things just slightly to make it work with the sentiments and die images that I'm using. And in order to access archive challenges, you can either become a paid patron or purchase the digital downloads individually. You can visit my website, KendrasCardChallenges.com, for more information. And I'll have this link below also. But members of my Patreon program help to keep the challenges free each quarter, so I hope you'll consider joining as a patron. The first four cards were from challenge one, and this is from challenge number six. And I do pull in a few uh, stamps from my stash, and um, there is one image that I've had colored for over a year, and I decided to use that on one of these cards because it fits the theme. But this one is actually from one of my bonus printables. Um, and then this is from challenge number five. I just left off that middle strip there and put the sentiment down at the bottom. This is that image I was talking about, and I used a hero art sentiment. And then there are a few here where I just used the full panel and put some of the sentiments and images from the digital download. This one here, again, I believe this is from Challenge 5 as well. I just left off the bow and added a few more of the sea creatures. And um, then this is the 
the full image panels. This one's just cut down a little bit with that cute little turtle. And here again is another one with the octopus and I use some of those banners that are included in the printable. I love this one, the, the bubble background with this cute little mermaid. And I, I did pop some of these up with some foam tape, some of those sentiments and the images. And then this one, I used a stamp from my stash for the sentiment on that one. And then this one, I used another one of those banners. But I just love how these turned out. They're so cute. And I did add some Stickles glitter glue to a lot of these, plus some um, touch of gloss on the eyes. Now this one is a full panel, but I added a strip of that watercolor paper. Here again, this is the bonus printable. I just left off the little um, banner. Now, of course, I turned it uh, portrait as well. And that one I just kind of made up on my own. And again, here, this is another one where I just kind of took some of the pieces that matched and put them together. Same with this one. I used um, that big rectangle sentiment there in the center and added the shell. But these are all 20 of the cards that I made with the May of 2024 bonus printable for patrons and also the May color palette challenge colors. So I really hope you'll join us on the color palette challenge. And also I hope you'll consider becoming a paid patron if you are not already. I'd like to thank all of my patrons shown here. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.